Hey guys, for today's project, we're going to be showing you how to make your own mirrored vanity without having to go to a specialty glass shop and have custom mirrors cut for you. This is all going to be done with basic items that you can find in just about any home improvement store. I wanted to make sure that I would be able to walk in there and find mirrors already done uh, where I'd just be able to utilize that in my project and not have to do any custom work. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. We started by going to Home Depot and picked up a 4x8 sheet of MDF. This is 5 8 thickness. And we marked out our tabletop, our shelving, and the sides to our shelves. Next, Michael went to work cutting out all the pieces. We started with building the cubicles first, or the shelving. We used a combination of wood glue to help kind of just hold the pieces together as Michael was getting ready to nail them in. He nailed them in, starting with the bottom and then repeat it on the other side. And right now we're nailing in the sides. So these are the sides of our shelving, that's the bottom. And then he went to work kind of adjusting the next two shelves and just making sure that they were at the right level and making sure that they were even. He nailed in each of the shelves and then repeated the process because we actually needed two sets of shelves. The next step was to go about placing the drawers and so we needed a bottom part for the middle drawer to sit on so Michael measured and cut out this piece of MDF to span between our shelving units. Underneath you can see the strip of MDF that's nailed into the side and then the top is nailed into that. Michael sanded the edges just to make sure there was no rough edges. To enclose the backs where the drawers were going to be sitting, we used quarter inch MDF. Michael cut out the pieces and nailed them in. We also used the quarter inch MDF for the bottom and back of the drawers. For the sides and the front of the drawer, we used the regular 5 8 MDF. You can see Michael's nailing in the bottom to the sides. And if you look closely, you can see the bottom of the drawer is actually a quarter inch longer than the sides. So you can see how it protrudes out. That's where the back of the drawer is going to be nailed in. Michael's nailing on the front of the drawer and then finishing off the back. So both the front and the back get nailed directly into the sides. Let's see if it fits. Perfect. There's a lot of different ways you can make a drawer, but we tried to keep it as simple as possible for the tools that we had. So for the bottom sliders, we just used two strips of MDF. Michael used wood glue to attach them. We used masking tape to help secure the drawer sliders while the wood glue was drying. And then we repeated the process. We still had two more drawers to go. So from the quarter inch MDF, he cut out the back and the bottom for the drawers. And then from the 5 8 MDF, he cut out the front and the sides. The bottom of the drawer gets nailed into the sides and the back of the drawer gets nailed into the sides. And then of course, applying the wood glue for the sliding rails and then the front, Michael places it on and nails it in. Here's the top that Michael cut out earlier. We're just checking the drawers, checking the overhang, making sure we like how everything's working before we drill in. Michael drilled the holes for the drawer poles, and now he's gonna be drilling the top into the sides of the cubicles down below. We used a total of eight screws to drill our tabletop into our shelves below, making sure to drill into the sides of our shelving. It was finally time for priming and painting, so I went to work priming everything, everywhere that was going to be painted or seen. And then also I had this piece of molding that was going to be a decorative piece on the very front that I needed to prime. For paint, I picked up this Rust-Oleum metallic paint. This is in the silver color, and it's a really beautiful color, but it was going to take way too long to just paint it with that. So I used this aluminum Rust-Oleum as a base first. We painted it on. It was super dark, but then it dried, and it was pretty light. It was very cool toned, so I was glad I had that extra uh, spray can of uh, metallic paint from Rust-Oleum because that was the exact color that I wanted, and that worked out perfect kind of using that as a finish over top of the aluminum base. Here's that Rust-Oleum metallic silver in the sunlight. It's such a gorgeous color, but it's very cool tone, so I wanted to kind of give it an antique look. I use this Martha Stewart Living metallic paint. This is in vintage gold. Since I was just going for a faux antique finish, I watered down the paint, and that way it wouldn't be too strong of a gold. I didn't want it to be too opaque. I just wanted a nice kind of translucent um, kind of brushing effect. So I stippled it on, and then kind of wiped it down with my glove. And then I took a rag and wiped it further so it would give kind of just a sort of a streaked look. And I just kind of focused around the edges 
just to kind of bring out some of that detailing around the edges and corners. We didn't have a miter saw, so unfortunately we had to do this part by hand. So Michael used his hand saw and a speed square to cut an angle for our trim. For attaching the trim, you could just use wood glue. Um, that would be a nice, easy way to do it. We ended up nailing it in, and there was a few divots that we ended up having to fill with caulking. Now it was finally time to prep the tabletop for the mirror, so I swept off any sawdust that was left over. Michael applied the mirror mastic. Just kind of around the middle a little, along the edges, really getting the corners, but not too close to the edges or the corners because you don't want that oozing out when you go to place the mirror on there. Then Michael used a paint stir stick to smooth out any of the globs of glue just so the mirror would have a nice flat surface to set. We placed the mirror on the tabletop and gently pressed it in throughout the middle, around the edges. I got this mirror at Lowe's. It's just a basic full length beveled edged mirror. I picked up these two smaller crystal drawer poles from Habitat for Humanity's The Restore. They were only two bucks, but I needed a third one, so I had to get this big one at Lowe's. I used the big one for the middle drawer, and that worked out perfect because the two little ones went on the side drawers. Here's my shelving before I put the mirrors on there. I knew that I didn't want to leave them naked like this. I had a plan for these mirrored tiles, so I used these beveled edge mirrored tiles. They come in a pack of six, and I just set them on there. I'm not going to show you like uh, you know how I have my makeup organized because there is nothing in here yet. I haven't moved in quite yet. I did set up some of my nail polish and that's that's all for now. And of course um, my little glass tear shelves on top. So I hope this DIY project really sparks some ideas for you guys. Um, I know that you know this might not work for everyone or you may want your drawers different or you might want drawers all the way down and no shelves or you might just want shelves. There's so many different options that you can do with furniture. It's just really about finding what works for you and your setup and having fun with it and making it your own. So the next video is going to be um, how to or how I'm going to be making my drawer organizers um, or drawer dividers. So I'll let you guys go and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, for today's project we're going to be showing you how to make your own mirrored vanity without having to go to a specialty glass shop and have custom mirrors cut for you. This is all going to be done with basic items that you can find in just about any home improvement store. I wanted to make sure that I would be able to walk in there and find mirrors already done uh, where I'd just be able to utilize that in my project and not have to do any custom work. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. We started by going to Home Depot and picked up a 4x8 sheet of MDF. This is 5 8 thickness. And we marked out our tabletop, our shelving, and the sides to our shelves. Next, Michael went